हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू जे सी कनेक्ट आई एम प्रोफेसर विनायक रतन विल बी हैंडलिंग टू यू द सब्जेक्ट ऑन फ्लूड पावर इंजीनियरिंग हैविंग अ सब्जेक्ट कोड ऑफ एटीन एम ई फिफ्टी फाइव so what comes to your mind when you think of fluid power what are the different types of fluid which you come across there are two types which are those liquids and gases is it what are different types of liquids water different types of oils etc and uh, gases mainly air steam is also there but here uh, you will be not studying with respect to steam so in uh, fluid mechanics subjects you have learned the mechanics of uh, fluid is it but in this uh, fluid power engineering you will be going to how that mechanics can be applied to the different applications So you can see the two applications uh, which are shown to you. One is the forklift, forklifter on left hand side, which is used to move the objects from one place to other place. And the other is the excavator. You can see how it is used. Now let's go through what are the course learning objectives. First one. to provide an insight into the capabilities of uh, both hydraulic and pneumatic fluid power so hydraulic includes different types of liquids pneumatic include gases mainly air next to understand the concept and relations surrounding force pressure energy power in fluid power systems the next objective is to examine the different concepts centering on sources of hydraulic power rotary linear actuators distribution systems hydraulic flow in pipes control systems and fluid power systems so next is exposure to build and interpret hydraulic and pneumatic circuits related to industrial applications you will be using a software you will be building different circuits and you will be simulating them and next thing to familiarize with logic controls and troubleshooting next let's uh, go through uh, what is the syllabus so module 1 so introduction to fluid power systems so in this introduction you will be learning different components involved in fluid power systems their advantages applications how there is a transmission of power in both static and dynamic states what is pascal's law its applications then uh, fluids for hydraulic system different types of uh, fluids properties selection what are the different types of additives effect of temperature pressure on uh, hydraulic fluid different types of seals and their materials mainly used to provide a leakage proof compatibility of seal with fluids different types of pipes hoses quick acting couplings pressure drop in hoses pipes then uh, fluid containing conditioning through filters okay, strainers sources of contamination and how that contamination can be controlled in different types of heat exchangers so few examples here which you'll be learning so this example shows you pascal's law wherein you are applying a small amount of force and on the other side you are getting a larger force so the other one is different types of filters are shown to you okay we will be going through these are some only two examples which are shown here module 2 so in module 2 you will be learning different types of pumps and actuators so in pumps you will classify the different types of pumps so the pumping theory of uh, positive displacement pumps 
so there are one more type of machines in this subject you will be learning uh, positive displacement pumps the other types of uh, machines are uh, turbo machines you have a separate subject of that here in this subject you will be learning only regarding positive displacement machines then construction and uh, working of uh, gear pumps crane pumps piston pumps fixed and uh, variable displacement pumps their performance then how these pumps are selected different factors and some problems on pump accumulators types applications of accumulators different types of intensifiers pressure switches temperature and level sensors actuators classification cylinder and hydraulic motors hydraulic cylinders single and double acting cylinder different mounting arrangements cushioning effects special different types of cylinders will even have problems on uh, cylinders construction and uh, working of uh, rotary actuators such as gear wheel piston motors and hydraulic motor theoretical torque power flow rate hydraulic uh, motor performance and numerical problems on these and different uh, symbolic representations uh, which are used for hydraulic actuators both cylinders as well as motors so again i have shown you two examples uh, which you will be learning in this module 2 one is gear motor other one is piston motors you can even see the animations of that how exactly they work detailed study we will be doing it in module 2 next in uh, module 3 we will study different components and uh, hydraulic circuit design components so classification of control walls different directional control walls their uh, symbolic representations constructional features uh, poppet sliding spool rotary type walls solenoid and pilot operated direction control walls shuttle wall and check walls and different types of pressure control walls direct and pilot operated types flow control walls compensated non compensated needle wall temperature compensated pressure compensated pressure and temperature compensated and their symbolic representations and different uh, hydraulic circuit designs so these all things you will be learning in module 3 so two examples are shown to you one is a flow control wall the other one is a pilot operated wall so in uh, module 4 uh, we'll be going through different uh, pneumatic power systems introduction of uh, pneumatic systems advantages limitations applications there are different work what is the working medium mini air is the working medium for pneumatic systems characteristics of a compressed and uh, compressed air and air compressors structure of a pneumatic control system fluid conditioner dry dryers and frl unit different pneumatic actuators and uh, different pneumatic control walls you'll be going through that's the one example is shown here of pneumatic actuator pneumatic system in the last module we will study different pneumatic control circuits simple pneumatic control direct indirect actuation pneumatic cylinders speed control of cylinders supply air throttling and exhaust air throttling signal processing elements logic gates or gate and gate in pneumatic applications practical examples involving these uh, logic gates multi cylinder application okay. so coordinated and sequential motion control motion and control diagrams signal animation methods cascading method principle and practical examples maximum of two, two cylinders using this cascading method then uh, electro pneumatic control principles signal input and output 
pilot assisted slide control of uh, directional control walls use of relay and uh, contactors control circuitry for uh, simple signal and uh, cylinder applications so this image shown indicates different symbols used we will be using these symbols in the software and you will be simulating the hydraulic and pneumatic control systems so this is next is uh, learning assignment so a group of four students will be formed so there are different experiments present in group a and group b so let's see what are the experiments in group a so these are experiments on hydraulic trainer okay so hydraulic systems mainly so let's see what are some of the experiments given to you which you will be doing using a software and simulating them and you will be going through how the flow will occur so first one is speed control circuit using metering in and metering out technique regenerative and sequencing circuits extend and retraction and stop system of linear actuator rapid traverse and speed circuit so these are the experiments present in group a in group b the experiments on pneumatic systems so first one automatic reciprocating circuit the second one is speed control circuit the next one is pneumatic circuit involving shuttle valve thick exhaust valve electro pneumatic valves and circuit so in order to help you to complete these uh, experiments using software you have a course on coursera on fundamentals of uh, fluid power so i want all of the, all the students to register for this course on fundamentals of fluid power so there we will even study how to simulate okay all the students have to register for this course and provide a certificate and show the certificate to us finally let's see what are the course outcomes once you go through the course what exactly you will learn you will identify and analyze different functional requirements of fluid power transmission system for a particular given application you can visualize how a hydraulic and pneumatic circuit will work to accomplish a particular function design an appropriate hydraulic or pneumatic circuit or combination like electro hydraulics electro pneumatics for a given application you will be doing this using the software mainly automation studio next select and size the different components of circuit develop a comprehensive circuit diagram by integrating the components selected for the given application so these are the outcomes so these are some of the books which you can use textbooks and both reference books so most commonly used textbooks is textbook is uh, fluid power with applications by antimo esposito this book is available to you in the library you can refer this now those who want to refer a video book you can refer uh, fluid power systems by hdr so thank you everyone well.